What's up, everybody? It's Joe from Complex. We're back with another episode of Sneaker Stories. This time we feature Faze Rugg, who has a new movie coming out, Crimson, October 29th. Welcome to the show. How are you? I'm doing great. Thanks for having me. Pleasure to meet you. Of course, man. Been waiting to do this for a long time. A mutual friend, Benjamin Kick, said this guy has some heat, so. Oh, yeah. Shout out my boy. I want to start at the beginning. We found a picture of you with your family. You have a Kobe Bryant jersey on and you're wearing purple and yellow Air Force Ones. Is that an early pair? Do you remember your first pair of sneakers? So back in the day, I used to wear Jordans all the time. But since I was such a huge Kobe and Lakers fan, um, I remember that picture that you brought up. We actually got it right before the game at a sneaker store in downtown LA. And those have been like my most memorable until they got stolen. Wow, how'd they yeah, get stolen? They, they, got, they got stolen when I was playing like a pickup game and I brought them to show my friends. And after my game, they were just gone. But not the neighbors. I know that the Crimson movie is, the neighbors are a little <laughs> off, but it wasn't the neighbors for this. Not the neighbors. <laughs> okay, so pickup game, wow. You changed into sneakers and left those and then someone swiped them. Sadly, yes. I know that you mix in high fashion footwear with off-white Nikes. I saw you in Sakai Nikes lately. What's in your current rotation? Okay, so these ones right here. Vapor Max off-whites. Yep, I actually wear these almost every day. If I just have a white shirt on, these are pretty much my go-tos. Definitely these Prestos. Off-white Prestos, yeah. I don't know what I got on them. That material is very tough to keep clean too. All oh, white definitely. sneaker like that. And these right here is when I want to go out, look a little bit clean. Okay, off-white Air Force Ones, yeah. yeah. Big off-white guy. Oh yeah, definitely. I have a whole section, like these are sectioned off. Like these are my off-whites, these are my Gucci. I have Yeezys on that side and they're all sectioned off. I like to be organized. <laughs> on set of the new movie, were you allowed to wear your own sneakers? Was there a special pair that you wore or what? Thankfully, I was actually allowed to wear stuff in my closet, but there were some restrictions, but definitely one of my favorites that I wore, I'm wearing right now. So let me just, let me, let me show you real quick. Okay, Supreme Vans. I know yep. that you were a fan of the Fear of God Vans and the Supreme Vans, so Vans, and you did a video with your brother and you just had regular old school Vans. You like the limited ones, but I guess growing up, you also had the regular Vans always. Definitely, all throughout high school, I wore classic Vans. I wasn't a hype beast back in high school. No? Nah. All right, and then what, it just turned over as you like got a little older? Yeah, like I, as I got more into the YouTube scene and I met a lot of friends, I got introduced to like the hype beast side of it and I was in love right away. Actually, Rice Gum is the one who introduced me to like hype beast sneakers. So since then I've been buying a lot of them. <laughs> You brought up something about not being able to keep your sneakers clean all the time. There's a pair of sneakers that you have that you spilled something on that I saw in a video. Talk us through that pair and what happened. All right, so here they are right here. Dior, yeah, Dior Lowe's. Yup, the Dior Lowe's. I was really, really excited to get these. I, like I ordered about 10 sneakers at a time and these were the ones in specific that I was really looking forward to. And this was before the whole pandemic and situation that's going on right now. We went out to the club, right? I, I put these on right here and had a little cranberry vodka and bumped into someone and this was the result. Is it only on the shoelaces or it's on the shoes too? Um, it's, it's definitely on the shoes too. Oh wait. And are you the type that you're gonna wear them or they're ruined for you or you kind of like a little bit of character? I keep them off to the side for like a funny story when people come over or when I wanna show them. I haven't wore them since, but I'm pretty sure I could still get them clean. Like I'm sure there's some cleaners out there that would do it and that'll actually get them out. But mostly it's on the laces. So I think we should be chilling. The next category I have is your regrettable purchase. You know, we buy a lot of shoes. Is there one that looked good on the shelf or looked good online and then you got it 
and maybe it was cool for a couple days and then it's like, well, what am I doing? Why would I ever wear these? I don't know why I don't wear these and like it, they never come to mind when I'm wearing an outfit. I just never, they're literally brand new. Okay. I just, they're they're nice though, right? Like they're yeah. they're nice human races. I just never wear them because I feel like they don't match with anything. So they've been sitting in my closet, literally brand new, not worn. And you're a fan of that silhouette though. It's just that colorway you haven't been able to figure it out yet what to wear. Exactly. But I know you like the red ones, right? I have like red, blue, yellow, orange. I have all the colors, but these ones I just haven't been able to figure out an outfit to match with. Okay, maybe right now it's not in the rotation or a purchase that you that actually age well, but going forward maybe it will be. Yeah, it might be. If someone could help me out with an outfit that'll look good with those, I'll put them on. The next category, holy grail. You have a lot of sneakers, is there one that you haven't been able to get that has been on your wish list or you're trying to get? 100%, the Dior Jordan 1s. Okay, very, very rare pair of sneakers. It's almost impossible. How, how, I know you have the plug, like where do I get them from? I don't have them. Uh, we had Quavo on the show, Quavo has them. Has to be like, you have to either win a raffle or Dior kind of has to invite you to get them. What have you done to try to get them so far? I've hit up my boy Benjamin Kicks. You know, he usually has the plug. Like, he's usually the plug. Yeah. Um, you know, I've, I've hit up some of my FaZe homies and none of them have it. So, I don't know. I, I, I don't want to give up on it because they're just super, super nice. They're rare. They're like a collector's item. So, I don't know if you have any connections. Hit me up after this if you ever find any. I'll try, man. But it's not looking good because I don't, you know, I, I don't even have a pair. And super limited, beautiful shoe. Um, a lot of people are talking about it like it was one of the best collaborations of 2020. Yeah, that's crazy. I think that's it from this end, pretty easy. Dude, thank you so much, seriously. Like, this has been a dream of mine to be on, no on problem. this show, so. And once I'm in LA, you know, we're in New York, once we could travel, we'll do a sneaker shopping too, and that, that will oh. go off. Dude, I'll, I'll spend a lot, so. All right, awesome, <laughs> hey, man. Hey, thank you so much, nice to meet you guys. No problem, October 29th, Crimson, the movie. Check it out.